Inkscape finishing touches. Okay, so we finally have this image right here. Okay, so we're gonna open up blank Inkscape and we're gonna drag it right in there. We're gonna hit OK or whatever. And now we're going to go to preferences document properties I'm sorry file document properties and we want to click on resize page to or drawing to or selection to drawing or selection and we want to show the border just in case okay now we're gonna <clears throat> sorry now we're gonna enter all our text and then we're gonna shape it all into the balloons and stuff so it just so happens that I already did that save you guys a boring trouble but like uh, basically when you start the balloon you can't forget to go to ob um, object to path because notice that's a circle you need to go to object to path so that way it turns it into a square so you can like squeeze it and uh, change it around a little bit so it doesn't look like a, a so it doesn't look like this thing. It looks more smooth like that. So I I notice that I keep everything at four width. So after you move everything around, it changes the width. So you just have to select everything and hit that. And then <clears throat> I made this a lot wider because uh, I didn't want it covering the house completely. So you know you j you have to fit the text to fit the the shape and the flow there's like different things in that anyway uh, then I went to the box and I, I went and selected that and then you can make sure that that's set to 4 as well and then you can duplicate it and then rotate it with this thing and you know manipulate it so basically you want to cover everything which I already did so I'm just gonna move everything over and it doesn't matter if you went over that that's why I wrote that's why I chose the uh, do the box to text that's why I chose the sh show box so you can move it around and see uh, it's kind of nice that you don't have to worry about uh, certain things that You don't have to worry about it like lining up perfectly. You can just use it as a guide. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to uh, union this. So hold on, I gotta hit. So I have to shift and hit everything, and then hit union. All right. <clears throat> Union. All right, now it's starting to look decent. Now we're gonna drag that over. Now you can leave it behind there like that, or you can go over it by hitting Page Up, or you can combine it if you choose this, and then you hit Shift and select that. You can union it that way and get it to be like a one thing there but I'm gonna wait till the end before I choose that so I used uh, this is going to be the text for the uh, the TV so I, I chose a box I kinda went with the mad magazine sort of boxish shape so I want it to overlap but I'm gonna union it anyway uh, and then I use this sort of zigzag design, but I'll do the tails later. Right now, I want I want the flow from. Uh, there's two th aspects to this. You want to make sure you're not covering up too much. You want to pick the right corner to to use it, and stick with the corners too when you letter. I mean, I'm not the super expert, but yeah. This is kind of the fun phase where you can tweak everything.
So I want it to kind of flow and uh, sort of uh, overlap, overlap, overlap. Then I'm going to have this. Maybe this is going to be like showing off screen, or maybe I put it here so it shows off screen this way. And then I, I want to flow back into the guy. So maybe this is covering it up. And then this is going this way. There's a certain sort of shape that I notice that Chris Eliopoulos uses, or John Workman, I'm sure he's inspired by. Anyway, so now I'm going to start doing the tails. Uh, now, I like the overlap. I might just leave it. I might not union it because it kind of keeps everything together. Uh, if I would union this one, I'd probably want it to be more of a uh, like a, a, a diagonal sort of like shape like that. I don't know, but I, I like I like the way it looks with it. But this these two, I'm definitely going to unionize. So hopefully this looks good. Union it. Uh, not quite what I wanted. I think I want like a barely connected sort of shape. Put over here. Alright, now I can't select the text with it in a minute. So I'm going to do that one. And. Alright, it looks decent. Now I'm going to just throw in some tails. You know, you can tweak the tails too. Ah, great. I did that. Hmm, I wonder what happened. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to zigzag this to show that it's from a uh, not only off panel, but also zigzag so you know that it's coming from uh, a television or an answer machine or something. I don't know about this one. Maybe I'll zoom into this one. This one's got to be off panel though. So I'm going to go, since the TV's probably around there somewhere, maybe I'll just go right here. I want it to be thick enough where you can tell that it's off panel. Goodness, I don't like that one. I don't like the way it connected. You want it to taper up, and you want it to be a good enough distance. Alright, so then this is coming from right here, so it's gonna go float right in here. You know, you gotta just use your own judgment. Yeah, that's not looking good. I want it to almost look like two triangles are next to each other. I don't want it, I need it to look good but it, the problem is it gets close enough it starts to overlap there when I union it so I don't want to do that so hopefully that won't look too bad alright so now I'm going to union this this and that so that's going to be a heck of a union there or maybe I'll just underlap maybe I'll just union this with this and I'll underlap it that's probably the best way to do it so I'll union that, and then I can go, yeah, it already I did it underneath. Okay, so I'm going to union it, bath union, ah, looks too thick, so maybe, maybe I need to tweak that, because it looks a little too thick down there, does not look right, so let's see what this does, that makes it look even better. Right, maybe I'll have to go lesser. You know, that's the beauty of this is you can tweak it. So what would happen if this was three? I think I like it. So maybe I'll stick with three for the whole thing for lettering. Oh, you know what? Also, 
I, I didn't use that that's the problem too use that it smooths it out right there you can see it look right here it just looks a little too jagged you got to use that corner tool to make it smoother a little bit so this I, I wanted to taper out down a little bit more give it direction all right let's see what I'm looking like now this I need to unionize so shift unit And then I, I need to tweak that. That does not look right right here. So just eyeball it and see. You know, obviously I need to click on that thing, smooth it out. And then I can. You want it to almost look like its own shape here too. You want this to look like a shape. And this to look like a shape. Just be careful. You know, do what you can. All right. Hopefully this is the last one. Object path union, and then I want to click on this thing right here. Make sure it's smooth. And then I notice a lot of uh, balloons. They kind of taper it down a little bit. So let's see if that looks decent or not. If not, Control Z, Control Z, and we can try it the other way. Let's try it up. See if the up is better. Maybe. Starting to look pretty decent ish. Maybe this could be a little thicker right here. So we'll thicken that out just a little bit. Like I said, I want this to be a shape, this to be a shape. So you, I mean, I'm not a super expert at lettering. I'm just, you know, I'm learning as I go that's why it's important to practice every week incrementalism you know so it's starting to look pretty decent and uh, so now we go to file export you want to save it actually so save as news because if you don't save it I think it doesn't let you export it as well an export bitmap which is funny because it doesn't actually let you export as a bitmap and you want to go page because that's that's why we have the page border here so hopefully I have enough of enough room if not I can always expand it later so we're just gonna hit export after we hit page export make sure you have it where you want it to be pictures inkscape whatever I just wanted pictures I don't want all that there we go. Export. It's exporting. Now let's click on it. Pictures. News. Right there. That's decent. Not bad for just scribbling on a piece of paper. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this helps you uh, make some comics, and hopefully you can tell that even though it starts out as crappy and you, it doesn't look like it's polished, you can get to that polished level, you know. It just takes a little while. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy these videos, and thank you for clicking on them. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.